Hi, this is the third and final um, video, very short videos about uh, how I use uh, use this package to submit a pull request. Um, so um, I, in the first one, I initialized a branch locally on our studio. Then I pushed it to GitHub, submitted a pull request. Then I paused that pull request because uh, the reviewer was uh, expected to take a little long to come back to me, so I could work on something else. Now the review is finished. I got an email, as you can see here on the screen, that the reviewer um, says that you know the, the pull request looks uh, good to him, so it, we are good to go. So let's click here on the link to GitHub. Uh, this is how uh, the comments show up after a review, which is really nice. Um, here is my my pull request, uh, and I can you know con continue the conversation here, saying thanks. And I'm ready to, uh, in this case, because I do have privileges to merge this, uh, to merge pull request into this repository, I will go ahead and merge following the message of my collaborator. But usually you wouldn't have that privilege and you would have to um, wait for the maintainers to merge. So I also check uh, the state of the checks. I see there is one check here that I, I, I will ignore because it's a known um, issue here um, that it does not relate to our code. So we are good to go. And I'm gonna do what I usually do, which is a squash merge, which I think um, is a good way to keep the history of the main repository clean uh, so that you know, I collapse multiple commits into a single one that tells better the story of that commit. So that is finished uh, and the pull request has been merged. So what do I need to do locally? Okay, locally I will go back to my R Studio and run the function PR finish. So if you are a collaborator, a contributor to this project, you will know that the pull request has been merged, just as I did by check, you know, by you know, noticing the email that you get from GitHub. Um, once you are uh, okay with uh, you know finishing your pull request, there's nothing else you need to do. You can just run the function PR finish. Um, uh, okay, so this is saying that I am currently on the master branch. Uh, I got an error because uh, I am not working on the pull request that I thought I was. Remember, I did PR pause, and that's the reason. So instead, I know I need to go here and, and change to the branch. Sorry, I think that uh, making the um, screen too big is kind of getting on the way. So I want to ch click here and find the, man the branch that corresponds to the pull request, which is this one, clean git ignore. Now I have switched to that branch and I expect, let's go clear once again, and now I expect that the function PR finish works. So it does uh, work, it is doing a lot of work for me. It is first checking that the remote branch uh, on my fork has all the changes that um, the local branch has, just to make sure that they are synchronized. It's, it is then switching to the master branch uh, so that I'm ready to continue working in something else. It is also pulling any change from GitHub, from the main repository that um, is now on the upstream um, address, so on the remote repository that points to the source repository. And finally, it is removing the local branch clean git ignore. So I'm good to go and I'm finished with this uh, small series of videos about use this to help you work with pull requests. Next, I will be talking about other features of uh, use this also for pull requests, but that are kind of uh, in, in scenarios that are a bit more complex than the one I showed today. Thanks.